All right, so the next data type you're going to go over are the floating point types. These are pretty much decimals. Now, we only have two of them. So we're going to go over the first one, which is the float type. And we're going to call this is floats. We're going to specify it as a float. And we're going to make it equal to 3.14, you know, very basic pi. But with float, you have to add a suffix of f, just like long. Add a suffix of f to let call it know that you're trying to use a float type. A float type is 32 bits, and we have a second one called double, which is double, which is 64 bits. And so you can call this is double. We can specify it as a double. And we'll make this 3.4. And I don't know, I didn't memorize all the numbers, but we can just spam it. Um, but yeah, this is double the size of a float. Now, with the float and the double, by default, Kotlin will infer that it's a double. It's a little bit different than with the long, where if it's in the size of an int or in the range of an int, it will just infer it as an int. But if it gets big, then it will just infer it as a long. In this case, a double can hold anything that a float can hold. So if we don't specify it as a float by using f, it's always going to store it as a double. So if you really want a float, if you really just want 32 bits, then you have to specify it as a float and you have to use f. Um, so, or call it with infer it as a double. So yeah. Now, what makes it different is that because of the fact that a float is only 32 bits, if we try to push it, you know, a little bit too far, there will be a cutoff because of the fact that a float can only hold six to seven decimal digits. So we have three here, then we have another three, and then we have this eight. So after that, and we'll print this out so you guys can see. There will be a cutoff, so we can print out is float and let's just use string templates here to make our life easier. Floats, and then we'll add that right here. Let's print this out. If we had to print this out, there should be a cutoff, and it shouldn't be the same number that I have here. So, boom, it cuts off at eight and it rounded that last seven to make it eight so it only held six values after the decimal point so if you want it to be bigger you just use a double and honestly we'll just take this whole number and put it in the double so you guys can see and even with double there is still a cutoff point um, a double can only hold up to 15 to 16 decimal digits but let's print this out Call it this a double, and then we'll print out is double. If we run that, boom, it printed out everything because of the fact that double can hold way bigger amounts of numbers. And we can also reach that limit too. So honestly, you just gotta be careful to how precise you want it to be. And honestly, you guys can see that the last number here is eight. There was a cutoff point somewhere. Honestly, there's too many numbers for me to tell, but just go by the chart. You can go up to 15 to 16 decimal digits. So you got to specify which one or how much you need to hold or how precise you want the number to be.